Hey there, welcome to another one of my videos. Today's video, I'm just gonna be changing out these mirror caps to the M style, uh, carbon fiber mirror caps. I got mine from, I believe it's pronounced Jalisco's carbon fiber. I will link them in the bottom. They're about $195 a piece, which I found to be relatively good for what they are. So I'll flip the camera around and we'll take a quick peek at what I will be installing. So the mirror covers I have chosen to go with are the regular carbon fiber pattern. We got that M style here, this little notch coming out. I don't know how they build these. If you look inside, you don't see any carbon fiber pattern. It, uh, I don't know if it's an overlay or what it is, but they look really good. The quality looks good. So I'm excited to put them on. The reason I've decided to change my mirror covers is because I did those carbon fiber side vents. So I just wanted the side to kind of match there. And I think they'll look pretty good. Some people are mixed on these mirror covers. Some think they don't look good. On the cars I have seen them on, they look pretty sharp, especially from the front view. I think it gives it a little more aggressive view. So I'll try them out. If I don't like them, then I can always just switch back to my stock ones. So to switch these mirror covers out uh, from the videos I've seen, it's a delicate process, but they say to move your mirrors all the way into the down position. So I'll move that one down and then I'll move my other side down. I'm going to keep the windows down as well. Get that other side down. Perfect. Both sides are completely down. Oh, that one has some more movement. So we got that done. Now to pop it out. Okay, so now to pop this mirror out, it just pops out. I'm just gonna throw a towel and kind of tuck it in there just so I don't scratch this black part because the mirror cover won't cover that. And I'm horrible at popping things out. I always break them. So I got my little pry tool in behind the mirror. I'm just gonna try to pull. And there we go, it popped. It does feel like you're gonna break something, so just kind of try to work it. It's still not completely out, the top pops, so I'll just continue to try to keep working it here on the bottom side. There we go. Would you look at that? It's out and I didn't break anything this time. I always break clips. So the mirror's out, and if you look inside here, you can see those two screws. I believe it's those two screws. Actually, I think it's this bottom screw right there. There's another one there, focus camera, and another one up here. Looking at the new mirror cover, we see that bottom one, and we see a top one. That's all I see is those two screws there, so I will unscrew it and see if that cap comes off get that bottom screw out here it's one let's try this top one up there don't fall it's two doesn't seem to want to move so i am going to also try taking out this third screw even though i don't see a hole for it is there anything else holding it in one Oh, there's a fourth one on the bottom here. Let's try that one too. There's another one. Five. You can see it. It's right down in that corner. Closest to the door. So we got five screws out so far. So if you look at this one, there's actually only two screws. I did take out five, so... The screws that you would need to take out are this one. So it would be the middle one out of the three. And then just this other one right here on the top. So those two will release this. Then you just kind of got to pry with your plastic tool to get it to break. And it should just slip off because there is little clips, as you can see in there. Just out of curiosity, let's see what the stock ones weigh. Okay, 6.6. .6 ounce oh 6.6 .6 ounces and 
and the carbon fiber ones, 8.6 ounces, two ounces heavier. I'm just not sure how these are built, if it's a straight carbon fiber mold, but nonetheless, they're two ounces heavier, but I think they look a lot nicer. The mirrors are off. Let's just slip this one back on. So I got it on, screwed in, but see that gap? Like, I feel like this is supposed to tuck under and be flush with that black part, but it's not fitting in. So there's a big gap there. So I'm not happy with that fit. I'm going to take it off and keep trying to work it and see what's going on. So what I'm going to try to do is just clean up these edges on here, because maybe the paint and the mold made it thicker, not allowing it to slide into place. So I'm just gonna take a knife and just start carving them, get some of this glue or resin off and see if I can get a flusher fit because the way they fit now, I'm not happy with it. I have these little tabs in here. They got little hooks, these right here, another one down here. But this mirror, the factory mirror, doesn't seem to have those. So I'm just going to shave the carbon mirror down and see if that helps it slide in. Because something's holding it back a little bit. Could be that. I don't know. I'm just experimenting at this point. So I will shave them down and see then. If you remember from earlier in my video, I had a big gap there. Now it's uh, a bit tighter in that corner. Let's see how tight it holds when I get my screws in here. All right, got my screws back on. You see my gap? Corner, just a tiny little one, but it's a lot tighter than it was. So just a tip when you're putting these back on, tuck that little lip up underneath the factory black part and pinch it tight with your hands, hold it tight with your hands so it's flush, and then put your screws in. I recommend doing the top screw first. That's gonna hold it in because the way these mirror caps are built, they wanna pop out. And if you're just gonna to try to screw them in, it won't tighten up enough. You have to tighten it, hold it with your hand like that, and then put your screw in and get it as tight as you can. Then you move down to the screw on the side here, pull it tight, make sure it's all nice and flush and screw it in as well. And then the fitment is not horrible. They look pretty mean, I got to admit. Definitely gets rid of that uh, chrome. Matches up nice with the side vents that have the carbon fiber pattern on them. I do believe these M-style mirror caps are just a carbon fiber overlay over a factory set like this. Judging by when I was trimming the pieces off, they were just plastic, so. It is real carbon fiber, however, it's just not the whole thing is carbon fiber. I do not believe, I could be completely wrong, but I'm probably not. On to the other side, stick it back, pry it, pops off the top, pops off the bottom. The out screws are the top one here, and this one in the center top, the screws are out. Get the mirror cap off, just as in some clips, so I just need to pry it. There you go. I just pried it from this corner. Slides right off. All right, moment of truth on the new one. See if this one fits or if it's same fitment issues as the last side. fighting me again that's the one thing when you order parts you expect them to fit I mean I know it's aftermarket I get it aftermarket parts blah 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 nightmare nightmare but I mean this isn't this isn't even close like it won't 
just snap on and the average guy is going to buy these and he's going to go to put them on, get all excited and now he's going to fight with it for hours and hours and potentially break something and it's just like, come on. So again, same problem up here on the very top seam, big gap, nothing fits. So I'm going to go modify this one and see if I can get it to fit tighter. All right, after uh, lots of swearing and yelling, I got it as good as I can get it. I'll show you right there. So here's the final fitment. Pretty tight, there's no real gap there. Little tiny bit, but I cannot get it any tighter. Down here. And that's pretty much the fitment you can expect. Unless I got a bad batch, but you know, I highly doubt it. I just think that's how they're, they're made. And very frustrating. If you're not a huge do-it-yourselfer, you're probably just going to put them on and have a quarter inch gap right here and just call it good. But I don't know. It bugs me like crazy. So I got it on the best I can. And I'm definitely happy with how I got it on. I'm not happy with the fitment from the manufacturer. So if Jalisco's Carbon Fiber is watching... Guys, man, I would uh, definitely do some shaving before you send these out because it's very frustrating. Uh, the build quality is good, but uh, the fitment is poor. You got your screws in, you're happy with your fitment. Of course, this mirror just clips back into place. That's it. That simple. That's going to wrap it up on today's video. So, like I said, if you order these, I will put a link in my description down below. Um, expect to do some minor modifications to get them fit nice and flush. Um, the fitment is not the best, to say the least, but I did get them to fit to where I'm relatively happy. It's not a perfect fit, but it's pretty damn close. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments, please leave them below. Any other guys who have put these on, let me know how yours fit. I'm interested uh, to know. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.